guys welcome back to the vlog um i feel like i haven't talked to you guys for a long time i've been trying to upload a video every week but last week was just crazy so instead of killing myself off i took a break um we are in an extremely extremely busy time of year Cole is haying like an absolute madman and I have been working my butt off too. Um, we both put in some extremely long hours over the weekend. He was haying obviously and I was spending a lot of time embroidering and um, vinyl work and all sorts of things. So it's a very good problem to have but it was a little exhausting and it still is. We're still in it. <laughs> We've both been getting home at about 9.30, eating at 10 and then going straight to bed and then getting up early and doing it all over again. So I haven't really, I don't feel like I've really seen him that much. Um, but that's okay, it's just a season. And over the weekend, I deep cleaned the whole house. I guess that's what I did yesterday. Today's Monday. Yesterday was Sunday, and I just cleaned the whole house. And it feels amazing. Um, it was like, to, we were both coming and going so fast that things were just like getting thrown around, and everything was so dusty and just like kind of gross. And we weren't home to care that it was dirty, but I just decided yesterday was the day I was going to get it all done. So that feels extremely good. And now I should be at the headquarters embroidering, but I've put in a lot of hours over there um, the past four or five days. And so tonight I just decided to bring my computer home and I have a lot of computer work to get done and so I'm just going to what was I started watching oh I watched Owning Manhattan on Netflix and then I started watching Buying Beverly Hills so I'm going to turn that on and just get some computer work done tonight and I think Cole will be home late but we have leftovers in the fridge so we don't have to worry about dinner and I think that's the update. I thought I would just do a couple days in my life. We don't really have anything that crazy happening, just the usual, but um, we'll do that. And then this coming weekend is rodeo weekend here in Stanford. So it's like kind of the biggest weekend of the year around here. So there's like a street dance and a barbecue and they do like a quick draw um, art auction, which is fun to go to. And then the rodeo is on Sunday. There's like a fun run. My mom's coming down for it. Um, so it'll be a fun weekend. One of the struggles of this time of year is that it's kind of hard to keep track of Cole. <laughs> he's very good at telling me where he's going and like who he does like a lot of custom haying jobs and he is constantly telling me where he's going and what he's doing and like my brain does not retain the information so I just tried to call him literally I just wanted to ask him if he was gonna be working late and so I don't even know why I want to ask him that because I know that the answer is yes but he must be out of service <laughs> but <laughs> I just like simply can't keep track of him so and it gets to the point where I can't ask again <laughs> because he'll start to think I don't care and I care a lot but I've just like got too much going on up here I can't keep track of him
Didn't you know that there's no yellow dogs on the pink couch? I think that you know that. Oh well, we'll break the rules this morning. We'll break the rules this morning. which I just absolutely adore but it's always like a little bit cluttered and I think I'm going to get some more organizational things like up here I'm not really sure what to do with it it's always like cluttered up there I do have like this little thing it's clear so it just kind of looks cluttered I don't really want to buy a new thing but I might it's Amazon Prime Days right now I think today and tomorrow maybe so I might see what I can find and then I was just looking down here in this little area I think I'm gonna measure it and see if I can find like some shelving or something that can go right here and I can put some more stuff even maybe some of the stuff that's up here could go down there Okay, I'm feeling a little confused because I was originally thinking for under the coffee bar counter. But I'm kind of struggling to find things that will fit under there right. Like this thing will fit well, but it's kind of ugly. <laughs> and it doesn't really match like what else I have going on. It's super cheap. So I guess that's a plus, but I'm a little confused. Then I thought maybe I put something in the corner, but I can't find something I like there, and then it doesn't have that much storage because it's the corner. I absolutely love this thing. It's like a metal locker type thing. Um, but I need to do some measurements and see where it would work like in that area. I have hope. But we'll see. I'm going to add it to my cart just in case. I was gone today and I just got back and found all this crap. <laughs> I was going to possibly stay home tonight. But I think Cole's going to be working late again. So Gur and I are going to go home, go for a walk, and then come back and get to work, I guess. This is cute stuff, so I have so many boxes, it's unbelievable. I'm excited about this one, so I'm going to open it right now. Cute, cute. I'm obsessed with the size of this cup. Love, love, love. I was a little bit hesitant to get this one, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> I feel like I need to give this to Cole. I love, I'm obsessed. I think that's the only two kinds that are in this box. Love. I'm pretty sure the rest of these, well, these ones are hats. I'm gonna open them up to see what they look like. What is this? <laughs> I did not order these. This company has been sending out like promotional things like to get you to learn about their new products. So now I have a whole bunch of these bags. And they're kind of ugly. Possibly we can find somebody that wants them. Look at this freaking mess that I have going on. This is like not okay. <laughs> this is out of control. 
Oh my gosh. Tonight, we're gonna embroider and we're going to organize. Most of these are just empty boxes that I'm, I'm so tired of boxes. So it's great that I just got a whole bunch more. Gur and I just got to the headquarters. It's only like 6.30 or something. Um, I honestly wanted to be here a little bit sooner, but couldn't get my butt out of bed. So we're gonna fire up the machines and um, start cleaning because I didn't make very much progress last night. I didn't stay nearly as late as I thought that I would because Cole ended up coming home earlier than I thought and so I went home to hang out with him because sometimes, I don't know, <laughs> it was like, just take advantage of an early night. So I went home and crocheted. So that's the plan. Okay, I kind of have I am feeling very high strung today. <laughs> um, I have somebody showing up for a meeting at 1.30 and I'm also anxiously awaiting a shipment from a freight company because it's like some big signs. It's for the rodeo this weekend and they're supposed to be coming today. I'm confident they're coming today. I checked on them yesterday, but I wish they would just get here already. <laughs> so 258 hats. Focus. Okay, the other What was I even saying? I just started reading this the guy said <laughs> this is a different order now. These hats says the other, your order was delivered, which it was right after I called about it, it was delivered. This is some hats. And he says the other 258 hats are still on back order. There are some hats on back order, but should only be 24, <laughs> not 258. <laughs> so we'll see about that. And I actually j did just chase down the semi that I saw driving because um, I thought it was going to this other guy's house that the address here is 113 Central Avenue and a lot of times they will deliver things to 113 Central Avenue East which is extremely frustrating and he's always good about letting me know but I saw this big truck. I thought that it was possibly the freight driver. And so I chased him down, but he went all the way to the feedlot, and so I don't think it was. He must have just been delivering stuff to the feedlot, but who knows? We'll see. I'm like literally kind of a mess. Hopefully these people arrive for their meeting on time, and then we can get on with our lives from there. Well kids, here is your update as a fun little day in the life as a small business owner. Um, our freight is not arriving on time. In fact, it says now next week. Our event is this weekend. And I called and had some choice words to say to some people. I wasn't that rude, but I wasn't that nice. Um, and apparently they're in Lewistown, which is about an hour away, but the guy only comes here once a week. But they just accidentally didn't get put on the truck today. Sorry. 
so now we are driving to go get them. Thankfully, my husband and father-in-law were so kind as to um, clean out one of the pickups because everything is full of stuff for haying. Luckily, I caught them before they started chopping silage and they were able to unload one of the pickups for me. So I am on my way now. I'm feeling very frazzled. <laughs> I need to chill. Okay, you guys, we made it to Lewistown. It is 4.04. And the guy supposedly is going to get here about 4.30. I did just go up and I was able to open the door, but it was pitch black in there and I didn't want to be caught snooping around. I did shamelessly go to McDonald's and get an Oreo McFlurry because I could <laughs> and so I'm just gonna sit here and wait I wanted to walk in there and see if I could find my package but like I said worried I would get caught snooping I'm trying to read these signs Mike's transfer. I wonder who Mike is. Mike better hustle up. Spam call. I thought maybe it was Mike. <laughs> sure, you, I'm very positive you guys do not care about this stuff. <laughs> I'm just out here peeking their chopping silage. I wish I could show you a closer view. They are just chopping away. accomplished we got the signs delivered and then well as you saw we went and creeped on the boys while they're chopping silage and then we just went and threw the ball for Gurr you didn't see that but we did um, and now we are headed back to the headquarters I am literally running on complete adrenaline at this point um, but we have a lot of embroidery to get done tonight so that's where we're headed. nine o'clock I'm absolutely exhausted from the day it's like nine o'clock is not that late but I am exhausted I have not heard from Cole and I know they're really busy so I don't want to call them and ask but I have a feeling they'll just work until dark which it's gonna be dark soon so I'm gonna go home Gur is ready to go home and it works good to leave right now. We don't live that far away from here, but I am walking, so I'm glad that it's not totally dark. So, here we go. I'm really tempted to drive down to the fairgrounds and see if they have put up the signs yet, but I'm pretty sure that they're still down there working, and I don't want them to see me creeping. We could just walk down there on our walk in the morning. Mm. 
I think we'll go look. <laughs> okay, we just came down here. This is where those shoot signs go, and this is the new shoot sign. They don't have them out yet. But these signs we printed, and they look great. These are the ones we had to go pick up. It turned out amazing, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I think this will probably be the last day of this vlog. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I guess we'll just see where the day takes us. Um, Gur and I went and looked at the signs that we went and picked up yesterday and they look great. As you saw, I just saw you, showed you that, but um, it's always a relief when they make it and one of them was kind of bent, but we were able to bend it back. I'm going to look into getting some credit for it. But I think I might have already told you that. I'm not a, I can't really remember. But today is just another day of working and embroidering and kind of a little bit of everything. And then sometimes Gur starts sniffing around like there's like some sort of ghost around as long as they're friendly <laughs> so anyways I'm just brewing a cup of coffee I fired up the embroidery machines and yeah it's gonna be a good day also probably we'll go out and look at the boys and their um, uh, progress I'm like really struggling with words this morning with their progress on the silage chopping. Not that I I say that like I'm the supervisor, LOL. I have no clue what's going on, but I'm just there to support. <laughs> so. away literally all afternoon um, but I just came to the bathroom and I have had this paint pan and paint sitting here literally since the whole saga of me painting the bathroom pink but I have never well first of all I started painting this border and I really wish that I wouldn't have because after I saw it on there then I was like, oh, I actually like this, but I had already started painting this, and I'm not going to go through the trouble of like sanding it off or anything, so I'm just going to paint the whole thing pink, I guess. Um, I do have like a white or a gray, but I think I'll just do pink. And then I haven't painted the door yet. So I'm going to paint that quickly. I kind of feel like, I don't know if I should paint the, like the outside of it or just the inside. Kind of unsure what to do about that. Um, so I'm gonna do that so then I can put the painting stuff away. My mom's getting here tomorrow and she hasn't seen the pink bathroom yet so I want it to look good. So that shouldn't take me very long, but that's what I'm going to do right now while my other stuff finishes embroidering. But also, I don't have my painting clothes and I'm wearing kind of a cute outfit if I do say so myself. So hopefully I don't get paint on it because I'm just going to take my chances and the jeans that I'm wearing right now I absolutely adore. I've been wearing them non-stop 
So I'm going to be devastated if I get paint on them. So this is really dumb of me to do, but I'm just going to do it anyways. I've had this in a bag, but apparently for a little bit too long. I think I'm going to try to wash it. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. Except for do I have to wait for it to dry in order to then use it? That's not really how I roll. This is going to be a pain in the butt to paint. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. This is dumb. <laughs> dry yet but the pink door like totally changes the whole room for the better I absolutely love it so excited I'm gonna let it dry and reassess later I don't know when I'm going to learn to look fully at the dimensions of something before I order it I feel like you guys have been on this whole retail, wholesale buying saga and I got some stuff in today and one of the things I had ordered was like these um, trays and they're really pretty but they're way bigger than I thought. This is the biggest one and it's got these handles. It's seriously gorgeous. But it's way bigger than I expected. But that's okay. The other one is a little bit smaller, but it's still large. But it is really, really beautiful. So overall, I'm excited about them. But this is like the, I'd say the third time something showed up that it's not the size I was expecting. Like, dumb. I just got a package from Amazon that... I'm hoping these make a difference. Gurr literally sheds so bad, like crazy. And she also like is always eating grass and she's kind of itchy and whatever. So I saw these things um, for a probiotic that help with their gut, that can kind of help with the rest of the stuff. It'd be nice if I could get it open. <laughs> Hold, please. Of course, I thought they're like kind of expensive, but I thought it's worth a try. They are, mm, they smell kind of good. These pro, Pet Lab uh, probiotic chews. Of course, she's like a bigger dog, so she has to have, it says to give her two of them a day. So one of these will only last 15 days is that right forget it <laughs> I will start out giving her two and then probably try to go down to one but I'm hoping that they work because I don't want her to be uncomfortable or whatever and I'm also so tired of so much hair coming off of her I've never seen anything like it so I'll report back see how they go if they if we notice any difference but I'm really hoping so. Cole just texted me to come out and look at the silage pile. So I'm just driving up the driveway right now. Um, it is such a nice night. Oh man, it says it's 86. I knew it was hot today, but I didn't think it was that hot. It's already cooled off quite a lot. And they we're going to chop this other field, but I guess it wasn't chopping well. But I am excited to see the progress since I've been here yesterday.
just got back from the ranch. Everything is looking seriously so good out there. It's so fun to go out and see the progress of what's going on. Um, but now I need to wash my face because the barley has my eyes itching so, so bad. Um, and then I'm going to end the vlog off here. It has been real. <laughs> I don't have a clue what's on these videos, what is transpiring during this vlog. But it's just a few days in the life. Um, and well, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you soon.